The Navy Federal Credit Union has the widest disparity, the widest disparity in conventional mortgage approval rates between white and black borrowers of any major lender. This is the nation's largest credit union. It serves military members, defense personnel, veterans, and their families. And CNN's Renee Marsh found that it rejected more than half its black conventional mortgage applicants last year. But it really is a nice neighborhood, you know. Baba Tandi, a Kenyan immigrant turned Texas entrepreneur, knew this was his dream home the moment he saw it. It's in a highly sought after school district that his son so desperately wanted to attend for its basketball program. So how many homes did you look at before you found this one and said this was it? We had about six, but this was the one that we, we all wanted and we were all praying to get this one. Otandi's first choice for his mortgage was Navy Federal Credit Union. It services military members, defense personnel, veterans, and their families, and is the largest credit union in the country. I was the CEO of my company, so I had a pretty good income. Your credit was in the 700s. Mm -hmm. You had recently sold your house. Mm -hmm. You had $100,000 for the down payment, which was more than 20%. Correct. I mean, what more could you ask for? CNN reviewed Otandi's financial documents. He even had a pre-approval letter from Navy Federal in hand, but just two weeks before closing. I got a denial. They sent me a letter saying, you're sorry, but your application has been denied. Were you stunned, surprised? I mean, I was stunned. I was shocked. I was hurt. The denial letter. <laughs> listed excessive obligations in relation to income as the reason. When they denied is when we came back and said, oh man, there's something else going on. And what did you think that something else was? Discrimination. But it wasn't just a tandy. Thousands of other black applicants were also rejected. According to a CNN analysis of federal consumer protection data, last year, Navy Federal Credit Union only approved 48 percent. Guys, as you can see in the video, Navy Federal is not playing for the black team. But another institution that's racially profiling black people, I'm really not surprised. In today's video, we're going to talk about the ins and outs of this whole debacle. Is Navy Federal a racial institution or is the numbers lying in today's video we're going to talk about it guys stay tuned Welcome back to your channel, guys. If you're new to the channel, I'm Credit Coach Q, and I create the first cloud-based software that allows you to put your credit repair experience in your own hands. If you're new to the channel, I'm super, super excited because I have a banger. In today's video, we're going to talk about Navy Federal racially profiling black people. Before we get into the channel, guys, please like and subscribe to the video. It allows YouTube to push this content to a wider audience. and also allows YouTube to push this within an algorithm a little more and allows us to leave these lights on, guys. Please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have anything derogatory in your credit, report i mean anything negative charge offs late payments bankruptcies medical bills guys you name it please go over to mycreditapproved.com it's the website and the software that i was telling the, telling you about that, that allows you to put the full experience to your own hands guys people are removing thousands of dollars worth of debt by themselves they are no longer using credit repair companies that are putting this information in this experience into their own hands and appreciating oh no deeper level guys please go to mycreditapproved.com check out the software and start removing these items guys if you have anything derogatory on your credit report now let's dive straight into the meat and potatoes of this video guys in this video i'm really not surprised when it comes to the institution and the numbers thereof they released the numbers on the disparity between the wealth gap between whites and blacks and colors and whites all the time and the numbers are staggering Seriously, the last time I seen the numbers, the average net worth for a black household was around $17,000. Um, the average household wealth for a white person was $140,000. And that wealth gap has to have some type of conspiracy behind it. Not only are we talking about conspiracy like redlining and when it came to how black areas got funded all the way back in the 40s and the 60s, that's different. But this is, in 2023, it's kind of shocking that we're getting the these type of numbers that's staggering this much when it comes to the wealth gap in this country still we all 
from this country and we all deserve an equal opportunity to the wealth that this country offer and being in this position as a black man is really sickening and it's really irritating so let's dive into the facts shall we so navy federal has had a investigation done by cnn where they did a deep dive into the numbers of navy federal and how it compared to the whites and blacks getting approved and the disparity gap for navy federal hits more than any other institution they are the large institution that has a gap between the approval ratings for their home loans right so that means that basically 77 percent of white people that apply for navy federal home loans are getting approved and around 43 percent of blacks are getting approved and this is not because they are just a this is when everything is the same. You can have the same bank account, the same down payment, same DTI, same credit score, and they are still getting denied. And as you can see uh, with the Bob video in the beginning of the video, his story is interesting. He's a CEO from um, Africa and he has a logistics company, I believe. And he had a 700 credit score. He has a great DTI. Um, he had made over $100,000 a year. And he had everything that was necessary for you to get approved. Now, Bob wanted to get get a home loan um, around 2021 and it didn't work out for the Navy Federal because Navy Federal denied him of course um, he applied for another uh, loan with another institution he got approved in two weeks and still was able to close before these interest rates from 2021 skyrocket to seven eight percent as as they are now so I'm glad Bob was able to get his home loan but the disparity and the rejection left a scar for Bob and Bob <laughs> had something to say about it. I don't know why why y'all did Bob like that? Bob was not going. But in all of it combined, guys, it's really disheartening that in 2023, we still see numbers like this. Um, there is no reason, in my opinion, that a company that has the same DTI, the same debt to income ratio, the same credit score, the same down payment, the same household income, the same numbers from across the board, and you're still getting denied at a staggering rate just just because you type in or because you are applying as a black man versus a white man. The numbers don't lie in my opinion and, and I feel like that if you have the same exact numbers and you have worked the same exact diligence that is needed for you to get an approval for a home loan, you is you should be offered that welcome and you should be welcome with open arms when it comes to these approvals because it shows that as a black man, I'm not even going to talk about how harder it is to even make it to certain situations than other individuals in this company. Now, every I know everyone does not have a silver spoon in their mouth, but when it comes to the the ghetto and coming out of those situations and making something out of yourself and becoming successful instead of a product of your environment, it says so much. So when you do have the same numbers as a white person or a person that does not come from those type of areas, it should speak more volumes on your character and because you still come from that area perhaps or be you because you still have the wrong skin color mr. Charlie ice is always colder and that's just the sadness of it now I know that one of the administrators from Navy Federal came out and said that they numbers is all legit and there is no racial profiling going on within the company but guys you let me know in the comment section I have a very diverse audience and I want you guys to look over the numbers yourself look at the um the cnn full video i'm going to leave it in my uh, my description and you tell me in the comment section how you feel about this do you feel like this is something that maybe federal can get over do you feel like this is uh, a misunderstanding and a miscommunication like what do you think is the reason behind the numbers being so different when it comes to whites and blacks when they both share the same exact data let me know in the comment section i'm very interested in that i'm very disappointed in navy federal for the mortgage approval odds i talk about navy federal i preach on navy federal on my channel a lot and a lot of their products work. I don't really talk about the, the approval for mortgages, but all of their credit lines, all of those uh, products have worked tremendously. They have
have helped people uh, actually get rich, black people included. So this is interesting to say the least because the other products, I know black people are getting approved for, but the mortgage, maybe not so much. Uh, maybe they don't have the faith in a long-winded or a long-term loan. So you let me know in the comment section, guys, how you feel about this. Do you feel like it's a mis miscommunication or how you feel about it, guys? Until next time, take care of yourself and take care of your credit. Credit Coach Q out.